Hey, what's going on, crypto people? <laughs> it is your boy, D Crypto Siege, with another day in the life and the crazy life that is the digital asset space. What is going on, guys? Good evening. Hope you guys had a great day. Things are going really, really good in the digital asset space, is it not? I turned on to a new, a new trader uh, that I might be following, actually. We're going to have to see how that goes, but uh, interesting guy. Um, I just followed him on Twitter. Brian Schreyer, what's going on, dude? Good to see you in the stream. TJ Jackson, what's great, bro? What's great with you, man? It's all good here. You know what I mean? It's all great here, I should say. Legendaries in the business. Brian Schreyer said, hey, I smashed the likes on the way in, coming in. How about that? I appreciate you being here, dude. Yeah, man, what's Black 1130s in the building? What's up with you, Black 1130? What, the, what is going on? Tax refunds in crypto. Tax refunds in crypto? What? Did I really read that? Tax refunds in crypto. What's going on, Daniel Law? Banks are starting to sell their ATMs? Wow. What's going on, Samuel? Samuel N. How are you, my friend? XR Free Me is in the building. Good evening, CJ. Damn, good to see you, XR Free Me. Who's going to do that? Who's going to take that option? Who's going to take that option? Who's going to do their refund and, and, and get their refund in crypto versus the fiat dollar? Who's going to do that? Staff Sergeant of the Marines is like, D, stop playing, bro. <laughs> telling you, my dude, I saw this on Twitter. I'm like, uh, what? Danny Law, PNC Bank is the ninth largest bank in the United States. How about that? Did Rob Singh just come in? No, there's Rob Singh. What's up, fellas? What's up, bro? How you doing, my friend? Brian Schreier, thanks for the full hour super chat, bro. I always appreciate you contributing to the channel, man. It means a lot. Mark Wilgus is in the building. What's going on? Wilgeman Will from Florida land says, hi, y'all. BTC is pumping when XRP. Shortly thereafter, Mark. Shortly thereafter. How you doing? Good to see you in the stream, Mark. What? I know. Let me let me pull this up, man. Let me pull this up. Like, hold on. I'm, I was like, hold on a second. What? Re receive a refund in crypto? Yeah, what's going on with the world? What's going on with the world? Yeah, man. There it is there. I'm going to pull that up. It's the green stream. How about that, Danny Law? How about that? Yo, shout out to uh, Yeshua Taylor. How many guys know Yeshua Taylor? I hope I'm saying his name right on Twitter. It's funny because I was listening to his YouTube a year, about a year, about a year ago. And uh, I stopped listening to him. But he was like the first one who turned me on to the ISO, the ISO 2022. ISO, ISO 20022. He's the first one to turn me on to that. How many of you guys follow Yeshua T Taylor? I want to look into that. Frog in the Well is in the building. What's going on, Frog in the Well? XRP is taking over the world. Now, question. Samuel N says, you're the coolest and most intelligent person in the YouTube XRP, XRP community. We all love you. That's very, very kind of you to say, Samuel. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that a lot. 416 Crypto. What? Where? 416 Crypto is in the building, y'all. <laughs> when Mullet. When Mullet is in. What's going on, Win Mullet? Yeah, so what is up with that? So, question. How many of you guys would take a refund in digital assets versus the fiat dollar? How many of you guys would do that? Crypto delivery is in the building. What's going on? I'm about to go over that XRP light in the way. You are 1,000% correct. Refundo allows you to get tax returns. Tax return in XR freaking P. What is going on? What is going on? Basically, they're getting your refund. I don't know how that's working. I don't know. I guess they're getting your free refund money in the fiat dollar 
and they're sending you the they're sending you the equivalent thereof. Danny Lost, like I always have to pay. I hear you, bro. I hear you, bro. I, I I get to I do a lot of itemized deductions myself, brother. <laughs> I don't itemize deductions. Jay Fretless. Hey everyone, what's going on? Jay Fretless. Coach Mike is in the building. Legit as can be. Good to see you here, my friend. Absolutely. So guys, let me share this. So yeah, so that legendary is like I would eventually turn my return into crypto anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Stash Sergeant Array says siege. We won. Man and nanny boo boo. That is <laughs> without question. Their friend was just like at crypto siege. Yeah, a refund and crypto will be from third party, not from the IRS. Correct. I got it. I got it. I, and so I guess what's the benefit to just to doing it that way? To, let me let me read the article and share the screen and share what's up. Any benefits to it? I just thought it was pretty interesting that that would be an option. It's third party, absolutely, it's kind of a third party deal. I don't know where this, you know, we got to kind of consider, I guess, the whole trust situation. When Mullet, I'm, I'm going to see if they're going to share the um, fees here in this article. Let's see if they're going to, oh, did I miss a sip? No, I got the sip. Let me see if they share it. So, RS tax refunds and XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash launches. So, the cryptocurrency landscape continues to evolve with blockchain solutions being developed in different sectors. This appears to be the case in the financial sector as Refundo, a leading provider of tax-related services, service announces a major development today that shows crypto adoption is really growing high. The platform has added Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Ripple as cryptocurrency options for receiving tax refunds. This development follows the aims of Refundo to become a major player within the crypto landscape. The platform had last year introduced CoinRT, a, a service that enabled taxpayers to receive federal and state refund in Bitcoin. Since the inception of the service, thousands of users have taken advantage of it to receive rebates in the leading cryptocurrency. Wow. Refundo had also made major gains in the, in the tax financial services with the platform offering a flat fee of $34.95 for taxpayers to enable rebates via cryptocurrency. So they charge you $35. Okay, this had in turn saved many from hidden charges and check cashing fees. Hmm. Check cashing fees attributed to traditional banking services. Okay, users would be required to create a Refundo CoinRT account, which would be as assigned to unique routing and account number to input tax returns. In addition, users would also be required to input KYC details, as well as their Bitcoin, ETH, XRP, and BTC wallet addresses. Gotcha. When the returns are paid by the IRS, Refundo would process the refunds and pay the crypto equivalent to the taxpayer's designated wallet. And so we would all have to kind of kind of get an idea of what that process really looks like, uh, right? Because, you know, you can do your typical thing today, get it directly deposited into your account. And then you can just go buy the crypto. Now, um, I don't know what the fee, there's, you know, there's kind of some fees when you use, uh, and they're not cheap, when you use, uh, uh, gosh, I'm for lost for words right now, the, the, the typical online software, what is it called? Uh, TurboTax, TurboTax, right? It's kind of that fee if you want to do that e-filing. So, and then, but that, that does get directed into your account, but it's, you know, it's not cheap anymore. It's not cheap anymore. When Mullen's like, nope, I'll buy them myself. TJ Jackson says, so the IRS is allowing that. Yeah, because I guess basically, I guess because they've been doing it with BTC, it appears like to me, um, TJ Jackson. 
each. I'll take my refund in XRP, but I'll pay my taxes in U.S. dollars. Thanks. That's Sergeant Marines. Yeah, I hear you, man. Yeah, so I just, I just thought it was interesting that, that that's even a thing. That it's, that it's even a thing. Mr. Pablito, what's going on? Good to see you in the stream, my friend. Yeah, and yeah, hopefully it's not too large, right? Yeah, gone are the days of those large returns. I wish you used to get some really large ones. I keep it fairly small now. Black 1130 looks like they're trying to take advantage of the fees. I'd rather buy a Coinbase Pro or Binance US myself. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's very, very interesting. I did not even know that there was an option to do it for BTC. And uh, I'm, I'm, my thing is, are they saving you any money anywhere? You know, I don't know if they are or not. I, I didn't look up the site or anything. <clears throat> so I don't know if in the end they would save you some money, but just the idea. And apparently it's pretty popular. Coach Mike says all in. How about that? When Mullet's like, yeah, I got to be a catch, right? And so there's the third party. So you file your returns. I guess you're filing your returns. Um, I don't know how they connect to it. I, I would think it would be free, says Legendary, right? How much do they charge in that question already? Danny Law's in the building. Danny Law, thanks for the $5 Super Chat, bro. This is how the government gets your wallet info. To monitor your activities. Huh. There's always a method to their madness. How about that? Interesting. Interesting. Now, they're going to find out either way, right? I mean, you know, you're going to have to pony up. You have to pony up anyway. Yep. Yep. Yeah, exactly. They, they're gonna they're gonna find out anyway. So I didn't know if there was a an, if there was a cheaper way, right? Because you got to still e file. I, well, I don't know if you don't have to e file. You can you can opt for the check to have the check mailed to you, I guess. And if you don't e file, I'm guessing through TurboTax, it's significantly cheaper if you do not e file. If you just regular file, you wait the whatever kind of weeks. I've always e filed, so. Yeah, for, exactly. They're, they're going to know always. Always going to know. Yep. <laughs> for 16 Crypto says, bet you part of that fee? They are using to buy some crypto themselves. Oh, I'm certain of that. I am certain of that for 16 Crypto. They would have to be. Sounds like they give you a traditional account number and a routing number. Yep. Double Siege Streams. That's right. How about that, Daz? Good to see you in the stream, my friend. Yeah, I just I'm just fascinated by the that by even the idea, the notion that, that that's coming. That they even have that. <laughs> that they even have it. And once the idea is out there, right, and it's and it feels like it's going well, there's always gonna be the next person comes in that will do it a little bit better. Right? They'll do it a little bit better. So I'm very, very curious to see how that goes along. I don't think I'm going to be using it. I love the idea of even thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Staff Sergeant Marine, that's a good point. I'm, we're going to have to see, right? Siege. So check this out. 49ers are playing in the Super Bowl this year, right? All right. What are the yards? XRP, San Francisco offices, markets XRP in the Super Bowl. Good point. Good question. It's it's a uh, you know it's it, it right. I wouldn't doubt it. Right. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Actually, I would be excited to see it. I would be really, really excited to see that without question. So what's going on with PNC? Let's cover this because I don't want to go too long here. I know I definitely want to catch some of Mickey B's tonight because he wants to clear up some IPO um, stuff. And I, I don't know why people still don't understand. I don't understand it, right? That TJ Jackson, this space is evolving before our eyes without question, right? That is without question. <laughs> Siege is more like Captain America, <laughs> right? 
That is without question. It's just really it, so. Let's check this PNC thing out because I'm like, what? What is PNC doing? Texas are free me. It's like Niners. Yeah, I tell you, traditionally the defense doesn't. The traditionally that defense wins out. I'm Super Bowl time, so we shall see. We shall see. Let me go see what's going on with PNC. All right. Making moves. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, just very good point, uh, TJ Jackson. I think the safest bet on Super Bowl marketing would be on Gemini. They already they are already plastered on buses and such. I, I agree without question, guys. That's a very good point, TJ Jackson. Paul Bogle's in the house. That's right. Paul Bogle said, finally in the house. Good to see you here, my friend. Good to see you here. I know what I'm looking forward to that Super Bowl. I don't even know when it is. It's, I know it's coming. This is it this Sunday? <laughs> I'm looking forward to that though. Man, I got the I got the uh the daughters got the game tonight. I'm like, oh. And everything is at least 30 minutes out. 30 minutes is the closest. So we we'll, we'll, we shall see. But what's going on with PNC, guys? PNC introduces automated request for payment for real-time bill payment. Real-time bill payment transactions. And I get it. I get it. PNC Treasury Management today announced it now offers automated requests for payment capabilities as part of the PNC Bill Distribution and Payments Platform, Payer Express. That name sounds very familiar. This capability generates automated RFPs, allowing payers the opportunity to pay with certainty and billers to reconcile payment <clears throat> Excuse me, in real time. B2B payments have long been a pain point for our clients due to inefficiencies, inefficiencies associated with manually researching and applying payments, said Chris Ward, Executive Vice President and Head of Products and Operations at PNC Treasury Management. This automated request for payment capability will provide speed, transparency, and efficiency. I wonder how they're doing that. Speed, transparency, and Efficiency hmm. to our customers' accounts receivables process. The B and B's are gonna love the B two B's are gonna love that. PNC collaborated with Transactis, a Mastercard company and leading billing and payment solution provider, to build this capability. Automated RFP generation provides suppliers with a streamlined process for conducting transactions and, most importantly, reconciling payments. It also allows buyers the opportunity to address time-sensitive payments that are required to maintain, to maintain supply chain flows and complex distribution networks, as well as providing more control over payment terms. This capability automates a manual complicated process, allowing both buyers and suppliers to improve operational efficiency and eliminate risk ultimately keeping their business moving. Together with PNC, we are revolutionizing the business-to-business -business payment process by moving money and data together from bill creation through payment reconcili reconciliation, said Transactus CEO Joe Potro. The seamless integration of this new ability, this new capability within existing platforms provides a cohesive experience for PNC's business customers to leverage real-time payment capabilities. PNC, we already know that's right. They're a Ripple partner, right? I thought I had heard Payer Express was a Ripple partner. Let's check out the stream first before we look into it. This.
probably spelled that wrong. How do I spell that? Air Express one word. Nope. I saw a ripple in there, but maybe that's not it. PNC Treasury Management joins RippleNet. Well, they're on RippleNet, so we know that to be the case. Has to have something to do with RippleNet. Eli said, I just saw the stream notification. Wow. You know, that happens a lot with me too, with uh, uh, other channels. Like, it's hard for me to get the notifications a lot of times. And a lot of times, uh, you know, it'll come up on my phone or my, on my laptop. Nada. Like, nothing. Nothing at all. Which is really crazy. So, that has to do something with RippleNet, right? Deep Minds in the building. Something, well, it felt like I just seen you. <laughs> Deep Mind is in the building, burning the late night oil in the office, hanging out with C with the siege. I appreciate you being here, Deep Mind. Now I know a lot of us have saw. I'm still trying to hold, get that whole 24x Visa Mastercard thing. You guys read that on Twitter? I haven't read that one yet, but it, everyone seems like they're posting it and reposting it. But any of you guys are you guys any of you guys familiar with Yeshua Taylor on uh on Twitter? Oh no. Really, Deep Mind? Two major quakes in the Caribbean Caribbean. Suez Canal might get hit, then economy will crash. Oh. Man. What is going on with that? 7.7 .7 quake in Jamaica. There is an active to tsunami watch. What? GOXRP, hello, Siege. What's up with you, GOXRP? That's so crazy. Staff Sergeant Marine 416. Um, I guess you're talking to 416. Crypto, YouTube, Peak Prosperity. I've seen that channel, heard of it. The coronavirus is the black swan event markets feared. It came out five hours ago. Yeah, I'd heard that as well. I'd heard that as well. I saw the grayscale thing as well, on there as well. And I think I um I tweeted about grayscale, that new digital asset space. I would guess grayscale would do a SB commercial before anyone else. Hmm. Siege, it's confirmed that one financial analyst said the coronavirus is the black swan event. Yeah, I saw something like that earlier today. I know, TJ Jackson, it's always very, very tough. I saved something on Twitter from one of his last interviews. And, uh, you know, for me, you know, being an air traffic controller, just thinking about what that pilot was doing and, you know, why they were even airborne at all is just, it's really baffling for me. Really, really baffling. Let me check. Mm -mm. You know, really, really baffling to me. So. I mean, the guy was, uh, he was flying what they call special VFR conditions, which means the weather's questionable, very, very, it's hazy, it's low clouds, uh, you know, uh, and, and helicopter pilots, they have, you know, there's some requirements, right? And so when you get guys that are traditionally, generally used to flying in good weather VFR, you know, and, um, you know, it's 5,000 and, and a million, as we like to say, they can see everyone can see them. Cool. But when it's not that way, you're there. You have to, yes, remain below the clouds. You have to be able to 
uh, sight of the ground, the place that you're headed, be able to keep the ground in sight at all times, you have to have a certain amount of visibility. Um, and the fact that they were holding um, for that long says to me either they were crossing or directly over the airport, over the final of an airport, in order to where they needed to get so that they could turn inbound, or they were waiting for the weather perhaps uh, to get to a certain point that they could con continue in special VFR um, conditions, whether that be the visibility needed to get up for them to get to where they need to go to land. It's just, it's tough to see that those were the conditions. There's a possibility of that, uh, 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 Jay Fretless. There is a possibility of that, but that short of a flight, you know, um, they would have been closer um, to where they, you know, where they needed to be. And they got the special VFR clearance. They did get it. I'm just, you know, the, something that's not right about that pilot that the decision there from the pilot's perspective, I think it feels off to me. It feels off to me. You know, being a former uh, air, uh, air traffic controller from the FAA, it it feels off. It really does. Uh, Kobe pilot tried to abort the mission, and Kobe's pilot tried to abort the mission. Abort the mission, okay. And they were too low and thought they passed the mountains. Tried to pull up and didn't see the other mountain. And crash from what I heard. Yeah, legendary. The pilot was an instrument instructor too, so he knew better. I gotcha. <laughs> Deep mind. Yeah, I hear you. What? Never mind your cash out plan. What about your food and water plan? Yeah, absolutely. ITM trading. That's a good lady to go to. Someone told me her name, and I I get Lynn Lynette Zhang. Good one. People on the hurry. I bet. Yeah, and that's the challenge. That whole thing of Trying to get this, you know, in the end, it's always about safety of your passengers. And so, you know, a lot of times, you know, I know I know, it's, it's a tough call. I've never been in that position where I got to tell this person, hey, the weather's really not the best situation. We try to get to a spot and, you know, and, and they're so generally used to you know, getting there in just than enough time to get the practice in and a little bit of warm up done or whatever. I don't know. It's just didn't just, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, and I listened to some of the tapes of the uh, the last few transmissions. You know, climbing and then descending real hard like that, that something's not making sense. And then the controller saying that, uh, you know, he was too low to get special VFR. So, I mean, the pilot, you know, you're supposed to, you know, supposed to stay away from the clouds in special VFR conditions, right? So, you know what I mean? I'd rather lose my job, not my life. Exactly. That's exactly right. When my life, and I can't, I can't judge it, right? Because I've never been in that position, right? Never been in that position, right? But, you know, the dude, what's good, Siege? How you doing, man? Yeah, lost the horizon. Yeah, and that's the challenge. This is hazy. And it's very difficult to, um, in, in terms of your orientation as a pilot when you're talking about low clouds and um, haze as well. Those are two factors. It's just, in part of speed, especially if you're far, you have to be, remain, uh, keep, uh, remain with uh, con ground contact. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... You know, and, uh, you know, holding is not the same for a helicopter as it would be for, uh, uh, you know, the fixed wing aircraft, right? I mean, because you could just stop and hover. Just, just, yeah, it doesn't feel right. My gut. Sad. But so what is up with this? What is up with this tweet here? Shout out to Yeshua Taylor. Did I change the screen? Go ahead. There it is. I remember listening to this guy ways back, man. Ways back, sharp young man. He's the one who turned me on to the ISO 20022. 
This is a, he posted this on um, January 13. What if both distractions were the final push? I've said it before that Bitcoin will be seen as as an enemy to this new climate crisis agenda as it consumes too much energy, energy and creates way too much heat. Yeah, I like I've heard that before. Now I'm sure you can think of a greener digital asset, right? Right? It just it just XRP consumes less energy than even BTC. And he's got this here this quote from Corey Johnson. I'll say it again, this matters. <laughs> and he's got a hashtag XRP to stand it, right? And so it's just always felt like that, right? That they were gonna use that Bitcoin thing and that energy and whatever this there's some carbon emissions or whatever whatever the POWs are doing, the proof of work as a way to say that BTC is not the one. And hey, we got this thing, it's XRP. It's significantly less in the energy. It's a greater good. We got the ledger and the ILP, you know, and you know, and the KYC and the AML and the C all of that. I'm telling you, the Donald, Mnuchin, Powell, people in Congress, they're all gonna start right, watch, they're all gonna start mouthing those things because they apparently the 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 powers that be, you want to call them the globalists, you can call them the globalists. They got the avenue, they got the distraction, they got the workaround to kind of get the things that they ultimately want. <laughs> uh, so the workaround is the climate control. Right? I got to check out Blockchain Monkeys. I got to check that. I, I think that's his channel. I want to check that out without question. Yeah, so this is the one I say for Kobe. I'm going to check that out. Do we forget about the Himalayan bank now using Ripple? Interesting article here. But this Billions 777. Hmm, how many guys familiar with Billions 777? He just bought like $8,000 worth of XRP in one transaction. Shout out to Billions 777. $8,000 worth of XRP. One shot. What's up with this zoom? Was this zoom zoom? This thing is going to be life changing. This is going to be life changing, guys. Testing zoom flow in to end on a microcontroller works perfectly. Transaction sent by Silk Jaya. The last few frames. Success is the QR of the transaction has. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> into it QuickBooks. Don't be frightened by your finances. Get paid twice as fast with the easy way to send invoices and accept payments. <laughs> yeah, I got that from CKJ earlier today. I didn't read the Luxembourg thing. But this this is this Zum thing is gonna be shout out to Vitze Vin. Right? That dude is is he not doing his thing or what? He's doing his thing. So check this Grayscale thing out. I thought this was pretty interesting. New asset classes are rare and powerful because they offer a unique return stream that can diversify a portfolio. Okay, yeah, that's an understatement. A unique return stream. <laughs> a unique return stream. Yeah, okay. Grayscale. Guys. I'm telling you, I cannot overstate, I just cannot overstate the importance and the significance of us being early adopters in this new asset class, that is the digital asset space. I can't emphasize it enough. And the crazy thing is, when we do our thing with XRP, we'll still be able to operate in this space for the next quote unquote, dare I say, the next XRP. This is the opportunity of three lifetimes. We can create that generational wealth. We can create generational wealth here. I mean, I'm, man, do you realize that a lot of you guys in this stream know more about digital assets than the people from Grayscale? How much do you think the people from Fidelity Assets, the Fidelity Digital Assets, really know about 
digital assets. How much do you think they really know? They just know that they're going to pick the top 10 by market cap and probably by community size. Probably they're going to do the, you know, check the market cap and the total circulating supply and all that kind of stuff and just go from there. But how much do they know about B chain? Really? You see what I'm saying? How much do they really know? <laughs> but we know, and I'm telling you, B chain, I know this is an XRP channel, but I'm telling you, B chain. D chain. Coach Mike said, yep, CNBC prepping the masses with their first story about banking the unbanked. Exactly, man. And I said this on the stream the other day, Coach Mike. I think I titled I titled the stream uh, uh something about Yep, it looks as though uh old money has given uh mainstream media the nod. Right, because I, I I highlighted two things in that video. One had XRP on there, and the uh, and that was on CNN. The other one, I believe, was CNBC, talking about XRP. Like they got the nod, they got the phone call. Yeah, it's okay, it's good now. Yeah, but yeah, we got the climate crisis thing going on. Yeah, absolutely. The WF is taking place. Yeah, we're all good. Uh, yeah, yeah, the ripple net is growing. Yeah, it's it's cool. Go ahead and start talking about XRP. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. GOXLP, good for you, my friend. I've got a lot of my IRA dollars via E Trade in Grayscale. How about that? Good for you, bro. Good move. Dark Matter Trading Group's in the building on DX, making moves too. They partner with Verifone and two other POS, that point of sale, point of sale companies. Very good. Very good. I hear that. D Chain made another move, hooked up with a whiskey spot. Looks like PWC and that a little range that they got with PWC is working. It's working because they are getting the word out. <laughs> they are getting the uh, dark matter trading groups like V Chain, XRP, Pundi X. How about that? How many of you guys know about TNT? How many you know anybody familiar with the TNT digital asset or RCN or preferably TNT? Anyone familiar with that one at all? 66 people on the stream and 36 likes, guys. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't had a chance to smash that like button yet, just collapse the chat real quick and go smash that like button. I would definitely appreciate the algorithm on YouTube would definitely help for that. My debit card was canceled yesterday. Announced to everyone. The credit union says they are rolling out a new system. How about that, TJ Jackson? Thank you. No, it's a digital asset. Legendary is digital asset, TNT. He said, <laughs> Legendary said, wrestling? Yeah, yeah. Nick Morano's like, they don't know anything. They don't. They could probably hopped on coin market got took the top ten. Good. Yes, I believe that's what it is, Deep Mind. I believe that's what it is. I'm gonna check that out real quick. I'm not gonna keep you guys much longer than a couple of minutes because I know most of you guys want to go check out Mickey B. I wanted to hop on here real quick and just I just think it's 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 TJ summed it up best. This space is evolving quick. Again, if Refundo is doing what they're doing right now, they're gonna make that better. And someone's going to come in there and even and try to roll off their success and make that even better. And who knows, one day it'll be a seamless thing. Boom, boom. And it's going to be it's going to be cheaper. Right. Because they, in order to compete, they're going to have to keep those prices down because otherwise we'll just choose our regular options and not even mess around with the refundo. We all know that PNC bank anytime they got real time anything that's happening because of Ripple, man. Yeah, so I just I saw that and uh, I, I I know it was it was one of the five picks to to five million. I was wondering if you guys had heard of that. Frog and Well says I think the base the basic bank employees don't know anything. Absolutely, they're employees, man. 
They do not know, my friend. They don't. I, XRP battle is very, it's very much true, man. It's the truth. I know bankers and lawyers and financial advisors that have never even heard of crypto. Do you guys get where you are? You, my business, my business partner and mentor used to say to us all the time, "We are sitting in seats that have never been sat in before in history." In the history of, fi of financial assets, we are sitting in seats that have never been set, sat in before in the history of the financial asset class. Think about that. It's, it's powerful. It is really, really powerful. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I was in better for a little bit. Uh, Bitcoin fund manager was turning me on to that one for a little bit. I was in there for a couple of months, got out. I, um, I'm i curious to see, you know, again, I'm still still debating on the, the few hundred dollars I got, what I'm going to do with it. Nick Mirando said, I asked the bank at PNC, you, you, do you sell XRP or Bitcoin? They had no idea and gave me a crazy look, LOL. That's what I'm saying. I, I hope you I hope you left smiling and so happy and feeling good about you, Nick, after that. I hope you did. Because I'm telling you, we are playing a game and winning, by the way, that the masses don't even know is being played. And that is an outstanding position to be in, my friend. That's an outstanding position to be in. <laughs> TJ Jackson. I was asked by a teller about Coinbase once. <laughs> she said, you make a lot of deposits to something called a Coinbase. <laughs> it's crazy. It's 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 sad. But that is how it works, isn't it? Now, we did our part, right? Like I know I I called my family up. I call, I turned my dues on. My old my old air traffic control co-workers, I turned my dues on. Dude, you need to get on this coin market cap right now. Go check out these top three. Click on the, click on each one. Go to the website. Check out the team. See what's up. I'm telling you. Take some of that TSP. Boom. Put it in there. None of them made the move. None of them made the move. They're all in the fiat dollar. They're all in the in the TSP. I get it. It's, it's a good. It's a good one. Matching contribution. It's good. It's a real good one. Low, 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 low fees. It's a great one, but it ain't digital assets. It ain't digital assets. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up. I don't want to stay too long. Times the stream is going on. Our dude, Mickey B. Fresh, is going to be down in there laying down some stuff about the IPOs and hopefully, you know, helping to level the XRP IQ for some people who quite don't understand what's going on about this IPO and the possible moves. That can be made, whether it be an STO, whether it be an equity swap, which is what I hope that they do personally. You know, maybe maybe the STO will be better, but yeah, but not just a flat IPO. I don't know about that one. So we'll see. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to wrap this up so you guys can head over to Times the Stream so that you can catch Mickey B. Fresh. Guys, listen, never, ever forget this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, but we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya.